talk a lot about your life, you talk a lot about the mistakes you've made, foibles. Is that a generational approach or something personal about how you approach your ministry? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's generational. And by that, I don't mean simply like in my generation with my father, grandfather. But I think generationally in the church, as you see our progression, uh, there was a time that the authority of the pastor was really rooted in the pastor being probably the most educated in the congregation, especially in the African-American context. You know, probably the only one with any kind of collegiate or even post-collegiate degree. Um, and then secondly, the pastor had to present himself as the model of holiness. So people would look to the pastor as uh, their mode of what it means to walk right with the Lord. But then there comes the hypocrisy because men and women are men and women. Regardless of whether you have reverend, doctor, elder, bishop, prelate on the front of your name, you're still a human being. You're still subject to the same temptations and faults and failure.